been waiting for you. Sorceress has been expecting you for quite some time. Some time. How long have you been wandering through the forest? Oh, I see. I see. That long. That long. I'm glad. Finally found you. Finally found you. Yes, yes. He's He's large. Oh, God, you're quite deceiving. Quite deceiving. He'll mislead. He'll mislead. A stranger. A stranger. In this forest. In this forest. Go down to go down the path lead only, lead to, only danger. to danger. Mm, yes, right this mm, way. Yes, right this way. Sorceress, sorceress, cottage. cottage is just is just on the other side. On the other side of this thicket. It's in a clear. It's in a clear cover. Covered of snow. in a blanket of snow. She'll be so happy. She'll be so happy to see you. She sent us out. She sent us out looking for you. See the wisps. See the wisps. Do her bidding. Do her bidding. She is a queen of sorts. We will never fail to do exactly as she tells us. Luckily, our mistress is a kind one. She helps people in your sort of predicament. You must be quite a special human, I must say. For she doesn't she does provide assistance to just, just anyone. anyone. You must prove yourself worthy. worthy. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming now, now, or she wouldn't, she wouldn't have asked to ask to go search go and search in the enchanted, enchanted as she did. As she did. This is as far, is as, we far as we can go. I get out, I get out the edge of the edge of the forest. To feel free, to feel free to make, free to make your way across the across the clearing. She'll know when she'll know when you arrive. She has a fire roaring inside. Hello there, dear. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Oh. Even though you didn't know you were meant to come here, you were. I've been making preparations for your visit, in fact. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So you've been lost in the forest for quite some time now. Mm. I'm glad that my Will-O'-The-Wisps found you. 
Who knows how long you have been wandering around aimlessly out there. Yes. Well, come in, warm yourself by my fire. Put some pine cones on to roast so you'll be able to take in their intoxicating fragrance. Mm. I know that you mentioned that you had no knowledge of my cabin here. But as I said, I've been expecting you for quite some time, and I've already pulled out some of my best potions to show you. Oh, I have potions that most people can't even imagine. But knowing you, the handful I've chosen would be much to your liking. Oh, please do have a seat and get comfortable. Would you like something to eat or drink? Well, if you do, don't be shy, let me know. I'll be more than happy to prepare you anything you like. All right? Good. Now that that's settled, let me show you the first potion that I think might be just right for you. Oh, I won't accept any payments for these enchanted bottles filled with their magical concoctions. I never ask for any payment, you see. I know when a traveler needs help, and I will provide it willingly. I'd ask for nothing in return. I know that some sorceresses might charge rather exorbitant fees, such as a person's soul or their free will. But I'm not one of those. I believe it's my calling provide people such as yourself with the things that they most need. And I make my living in other ways, such as fortune telling and things of that nature. Besides, the earth always manages to ensure that I am well cared for. Mm, let's see this first potion here. It's a lovely deep blue sapphire. This potion will allow you to erase any unpleasant memories from your past. Whether it be an event that you care to forget, a mistake that you made that seems to haunt you. or any other misfortune 
that you'd rather not remember. It'll all be wiped away, leaving only the fond memories that remind you of the good things on this earth. I must warn you, however, that often the bad things that lie behind us provide us with the wisdom and the experience that will ensure we have a bright future ahead of us. All of that will be washed away, too. The clean slate is a double-edged sword of sorts. But this potion is ideal if you feel as though the past is holding you back and hindering rather than helping. This potion lovely pink fluid. It's perfect for heartbreak. And while it may mend a broken heart, it can also ignite the spark of new love and love. Of course, you cannot make someone fall in love with you if it's simply not in the cards. It can fuel love and passion, but it cannot create it. So you must keep that in mind if you are to choose this potion. Yes, that's right, my dear. You can only choose one. My power has its limits. I mustn't push myself too hard. After all, you wouldn't want me to break, would you? This next is one of my personal favorites. To see things that others simply cannot. Which is very The occasional leprechaun, if the moon is high enough. Though I'm able to do that on my own these days. In the beginning of my magical apprenticeship, I did use this potion to provide me with a bit of assistance in that area. Now, the variety that I brew is much more potent than the substance that I imbibed as a young sorceress. So you must not drink too much at once. Only a drop or two will be sufficient. Any more than that. And you run the risk of opening the gates far too wide and letting too much in. Now this next one is not a potion per se. But 
bit of powder. This powder must be added to a pot of warm herbal tea in order to be activated, as it were, and to truly provide you with its magical effects. This will allow you to cross over the other side. As they say, cross over the hedge into the other realm. There is only enough for five pots of tea in this package, and this is all I can offer you. So you must do your business within those five pots of tea. You must make contact with whomever you wish. Settle old school or make amends. And you cannot return after those five trips. I do this primarily because it takes a great deal of energy for me to create even a small amount of this magical substance. And, more importantly, because any more than five trips and you run the risk of being trapped in the other realm. Which is never a good thing, I must warn you. the last potion I would like to share with you. It's bottled in a thin plastic material because trying to keep it at bay in glass is not recommended. I find that plastic makes it much more potent and traps in its whimsical nature to make it ever so powerful. This will allow you to become a small, as a fairy. You'll be able to fit in the average human's palm. And just like a fairy, you will also sprout a pair of the most glorious wings. Each time you imbibe this, you will become one of these mythical creatures. Until the next full moon. There's only about ten doses in here, so I would be careful not to use too much all at once. Savor it. Spread it out throughout the year. If you choose this potion, that is, and make it last. Well now, dear, I've shown you all of the choices. Which one do you think is most to your liking? Oh, excellent selection. I'll be sending you home with it. In fact, I believe it's time for you to return home now. My wisps have laid a path for you that will lead you right back through the enchanted forest safely. And into your realm. Be sure to follow it carefully. 
don't veer from the path, and don't look back whatever you do. You must make haste. You won't be able to return to my cottage, but if you feel as though you might need a bit of assistance, just knock three times on your front door. That's right, just knock three times, and I will be able to appear to you there. You must be alone in the room, however. This must be done at night, as I find it difficult to travel by day. And please do this only in case of emergencies, as it does take quite a bit of enchanting to make my way through the invisible barrier that borders our land. But if you need me, I will be there, most assuredly. I'll go now, before it's too late to return home. And remember, use the magic I've given you sparingly.